<laughs> Hello! So, hi peeps, my name is Alicia and I am going to do an unboxing of the Daybok box. I'm most likely pronouncing that incorrectly. It is a Korean subscription box that comes every quarter. This box weighs 0.2 kilograms. So if I remember correctly, one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. There's no way, this has to be over a pound. I'm not even gonna weigh it, because I'm usually right, if you've watched my previous videos. So I just did a video the other day of the organic makeup, and I was waiting for this to come So I figured, you know what? Let's just do another one. My dog thinks I'm talking to him, so. Alright, let's take this off. This is the trash. 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 Oh, I threw it on the ground. Packaging on this. And that's it. I'm just kidding. So this is obviously a winter box, right? And it says 2022 on it. So that's cool. Let's see what kind of new and exciting things we will find in this box today. I don't remember how much money this box was. I apologize. And I do know I did cancel it. Um, the last box I got was the summer box. There was there were snacks in it. I ate the snacks. They were delicious. And then I actually still have some of the iced tea packets. So I still have a bunch left and they are delicious. They are pomegranate uh, flavored. Actually really, really good. And they have that really nice iced tea flavor to them. Um, and I also got a huge container of some aloe gel. It was like this big, um, and that stuff was awesome. It lasted me probably a good two or three months. And I liked it because it was really nice and light. Let's get into this box and I'm hoping for some snacks and I'm hoping for some new lotion because I do need some. You know, chances are you might not get the same thing in a, you know, another season, but we'll see. Oh, this is cute. All right, so there's a thank you uh, card on here saying thank you uh, for, you know, doing business with us and that they appreciate us. Oh, that's cute. Uh, they also gave me a code for a $5 discount. The code is TY2021. That's pretty nice. Um, they also usually give you a sticker to commemorate each quarter. And there's another postcard on here asking you for social media stuff. And then they give you a magazine that is custom for their company. And in this magazine, you will find, oh, there's a Christmas ornament in here. That's pretty cool. Um, a lot of, like, helpful stuff. Oh, there's a little box in here. Some recipes, looks like. And then, at the very beginning of the magazine, they're going to tell you about all the products that you received in your box in case you have any questions about them. Personally, I don't like to read this because I feel like it kind of takes away the surprise. I haven't even glanced up inside the box yet. I can feel it. Um, but I, I really like the element of surprise. That's what's fun for me. So the first thing is, ooh, talk, talk, T-O-K, talk, T-A-L-K, glitter. So if you know me, you know I love glitter. And this is made in Korea, which is awesome. Ooh, wow, okay, I'm actually going, I am gonna um, zoom in here. It's super duper pretty, I don't know if you can see that, this is a gorgeous rose gold. I would be curious to know if this can be opened and used once, or if I can continue using it. I'm curious to know if this is some type of eye gel, or if this is a cosmetic product. Okay, the next thing is a bubble cleansing pad, Ultra Mint Vinegar. It looks like some type of cleansing pad for your face, also made in Korea. Everything in this box is made in Korea, and if you know anything about skincare products or cosmetics, Korea is a wonderful place to get skincare from because they have fabulous, really high quality products, and typically for pretty fair prices. 
This looks like some type of snack, maybe? I don't know, it's a little glittery. <laughs> so we will open this in a moment and we will see what's in it. I will also read the description. This is really, really cute. This looks like it would actually make a nice gift for someone. Let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, they're sockies. I just read the description. So fuzzy socks. These socks are for those days you want to stay warm and cozy at home. Who doesn't want to do that all the time, every day? Oh my god, they're so cute. I actually might keep these. So they've got little ears on them for the kitty cats. And then the back has paws. Those are very, very cute. So we got some socks. That's very nice and very useful. I love fuzzy socks, actually. And pro tip, you can get fuzzy socks at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Granted, they probably won't last you very long. In fact, when I wore mine the first time, they got a hole in them. But hey, fuzzy socks. Tropical green hand cream. Ooh. I love hand cream. I have it all over the house, at my computer, on my vanity, in the kitchen. And this is a great size actually for travel. Snack, oh yes, yes. This is definitely a snack. My mouth is already watering because every time I've gotten snacks from them, they've been really good and I love how hefty they are. They don't give you like a little tiny itty bitty trial. They give you a really good size. More food, okay. Too. This looks like one of those noodle bowls, so that's awesome. So this, let's see, this is rice cake soup, a traditional Korean dish served on New Year's Day. It is made with beef bone broth and sliced rice cakes. I don't eat beef or pork, so I don't know if this has beef or pork in it. Um, I might have to check because it is all in Korean. And I don't speak Korean, which I did, but I don't. These are chestnuts. It says they are chestnuts grown in the province of Yongsheng. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. And is known for its greeneries. Hot roasted chestnut is one of the Koreans, one of, excuse me, Koreans' favorite street food. And we hope you get a glimpse of what it is like to be in Korea in the winter. I'm definitely going to try these today. Oh, so this is... I think a, I think this is a kitchen sponge, so that's cool, that's, that's useful. I'm just reading on here, handmade kitchen sponge in the shape of Bungje Ping, B-U-N-G-E-O-P-P-A-N-G. It's a popular winter street food and it's made in a fish mold pastry and stuffed with sweet and red bean paste. Oh my god, literally one of my favorite things in the entire world to eat. And you can't get them like anywhere around here. And the only place, believe it or not, that you can get something like that is at the um, Chinese buffet in town. And I literally fill my plate with them because they are so freaking delicious. I just love them. Let's see, yeah, vitalizing snail cream. So depending on how this is made, I may or may not use this because I find that it is unethical to use animals, um, animal byproducts, um, unless it's really a byproduct, like if you find feathers in the woods or something like that. I don't, I try to stay away from stuff like that, just a personal choice, no judgment on other people. Let's see, here, oh, and this, this is an, a glitter eye shadow. It says you can use it on the face and body, which is great. And in the picture they're showing two colors. I received the rose gold and the other color they're showing is silver. So I'm super pumped about the rose gold. Can't wait to try that and see how it holds up. I'm sure it's going to be amazing. Another product that we received is a lip night mask cannot live without this and this one is berry i'm so excited because i literally ran out of my good night 
balm for my lips and I do use it every night and it does make a difference. Um, so I'm actually really excited about this. Useful. Okay. Let's see, I think this is a calendar. Yep, this is a desk calendar. Awesome, really, really helpful. That's great, I actually love the colors. And it has a little kitty cat on it hiding under the blanket. And this is also made in Korea. Another thing I just love about their boxes is that everything is made in Korea. So sometimes like the kawaii subscription box that I have, which is awesome, um, but the kawaii subscription box has stuff not made in Korea or Japan, which I find to be the best products. Another product we received is my little buddy file. Ready to tidy up your stuff in 2021 and start a new year in 2022. This is actually super duper cute and I will totally 100% use this as a small business owner. It is very important for me to stay organized. And I just love the little characters on here. They're just so sweet. They are just so darling. Okay. So I think we have pretty much gone through the entire box. This is a bubble cleansing pad. It looks like you can use this to clean your face with just a little bit of water and you can take it with you on short travels to quickly remove your makeup. So this actually would be a good product to save and use for when we take another trip. This product here, which is the thing that I was concerned about, this is the snail cream. It just says it's good for your skin. It doesn't say specifically if you should use it on your face or body. So this is something that I would have to research personally to find out what is in it. This I would also have to research personally to find out what is in it. So to go over what we received, we got really cute kitty cat socks, which it came in a really nice little package, so you could probably give it as a gift for someone, which is wonderful. A fishy um, kitchen sponge, so let's go ahead and open this up so you can see how darling it is. Aw, that's very cute. Very, very cute. And again, that would actually make a nice gift as well since it's sealed. We received some rice cake soup. So I'm kind of excited to try that. Hopefully, as long as it doesn't have beef in it. Hand cream. Wonderful. I'm sure it actually smells fabulous. Let me just open it. Oh, it's sealed. Okay, so I'm not going to open it. I'm going to save it because once you open it, it starts to, you know, expire. So I'm going to wait on that. Dust calendar. Folder, which you got to see. Really sweet and adorable little characters on that. Some wonder, a wonderful lip mask, glitter eye makeup, which I'm super excited about, and we got these little snacks. So let's go ahead and open this up. I love food and I love snacks. Ooh, it's a very strong smell, actually. Mmm, and it's, they're wet. I would expect them to be um, like crunchy but they're not. They are like wet. So let's go ahead and try that. My dog is over here wondering if mommy's gonna give him some and I don't know if dogs can have chestnuts. Mm. Yeah, they're like, um, Probably sounds weird, but they're like meaty. Mm. These are good. And they're like neutral tasting, so they're not like, I love when something is just like, excuse me, subtly sweet, like just ever so subtly sweet. And, the, and that's what these are. They're not like covered in sugar and loaded with extra sugar. Mm. These are really good. <laughs> so I think these, because they are wet, 
you probably want to eat them in like one or two settings, like on the same day. You probably don't want to um, leave them out or put them in a, a food storage container. Mmm. These are actually really good. Found a new favorite snack. Kobo, go to your bed. Go to your bed. Go to your bed. Good boy. subscription box winter 2021 going into 2022. I hope you have a wonderful day and a crush the rest of your week.